I just need to go in. Yeah, I baited out the Valkyrie. GG, well played. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to another video. Big shout out to Yarn for having me on his channel recently and thanks to you who subscribed from his channel. I hope I impress. And one other note before we get into the video. So my mic quality is suddenly improved and that would be because I accidentally had the mic turned in the wrong direction and this went on for like a month. So you live and you learn, I guess. It, they, the, it's not easy to tell the difference, okay? Don't judge me. All right, so here are the decks we're gonna be using today for the archetype control archetype series. We're going to be using three musket with a little bit, I guess a little bit of spell baity ish, but like good defense, solid defenses, and then your pump, of course. Second off, we're going to be doing a kind of control miner with battle ram, because I think you should have a little bit of extra pressure with any uh, miner deck currently within this meta. And then third is a variation of spell bait. This can be switched out for like a rocket or a lightning if you really want. This can be like an electro whiz, or you can take out the spell and put in an electro whiz or another spell bait aspect. I like knight over Skarmy though because it gives you like a graveyard defense and it makes you more like well rounded against people that have poison decks as well because Skarmy is weak to poison. So I like that variation a lot and that's what I'm going to be using. And let's go ahead and go get into a grand challenge to start this off. Oh, so just to kind of go over the control uh, aspect. How control typically plays is it defends first and then it uses the elixir lead to do small chip pushes. Uh, you're going to do most of your damage through chip and in this deck I start off with pump if I can. And yeah, so this is probably, you don't ever want to log a prince at the start of the game by the way because typically it's spell bait within this meta so like miner's a better counter. If you, yeah, so now I can just log this. And miner will get chip as well and I got value. That's two positive one, or that's one positive one elixir trade, so not bad. I have to wait because I want to be able to spell that. All right. I should have waited until I got ten elixir to pump. Mistakes were made, but I'll still be okay actually. Even though that was a lot of damage, it's not bad. Alright, so he's using the variation that has a bunch of... I'm gonna go ahead and predict. Log, yep. And he had to panic Inferno, and now he's desperately behind an elixir. Yeah, for sure. Alright, so now when he fireballs this, I'll be able to play three muskets. If he fireballs this, if he doesn't, then that's fine too. Eh, one hit's okay. He didn't block the miner. Alright, that'll, that'll be my last pump. Not much reason to do it once you get like one minute-ish. Especially over time, you shouldn't be doing it. Oh boy, you're in trouble. <laughs> Oh baby, the prediction logs. It's not that hard to do against spell bait, but yeah. All right, so we ended up fireballing. Block that. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go with that and then log. And then the miner, if any if he plays anything, it'll be killed by log. Otherwise the miner will lock on a tower. Now I just have to rotate back to log. Block this with goblin gang. Yeah. 
and he was trying to predict like three musketeers i guess <laughs> either way well played by him gg i took a little bit too much damage early on but i played the matchup correctly and i brought it back late game had a, had some decent predictions there too all right let's hop into the next game Um, boom, boom. So I'll start off with pump. He leaked a little bit. So I'll go minor right here. Interesting. Alright, this guy's uh not got the best deck. But hey, every part of a grand challenge is important. <laughs> you can definitely lose against weird decks if they catch you off guard. Honestly, I probably lose the early matches in grand challenges more than I do the late ones because I don't pay attention when I'm playing early in them. And and I will get people that catch me off guard. And then I'll be like, why am I losing to this weird deck? I think I leaked a little bit. Oops. Should have played that pump sooner. But I'm okay taking a little bit of damage here because I'm going to convert it into an elixir lead. I think I can also get up like three pumps before I start musketeering and then it'll be like game over. Oh, whoops. I thought they would come up a little bit farther. It's okay. You'll have to defend that, yeah, so. Here's what I'll do. I'll minor there for tower damage. Maybe he'll think I'm going for the princess and then I'll do skeletons to take it out. And then he has to deal with the skeletons because otherwise I'll do tower damage. Uh, he lets him do tower damage. So, perfect. Alright, let's get one more pump up and then I'll start musketeering. Oh, and if you put the miner in the middle like that, it'll tank for both sides. That's why I decided to do that. Especially when you're uh, really up in Elixir. It, uh, comes in handy. Also, if they play Inferno in the middle, it can, uh, tank the Inferno. So, not bad. Alright, so we're moving on to the next deck. The, uh, Dart Gob kind of spell bait ish deck. It uh, does well against like graveyard and stuff because you can use Dart Gob from a distance, Electro was as well, all the typical tools. I, I really, I've been liking this deck. It's a, a good variation of minor control as well. I don't like minor cycle as much just because miners are only in one condition and when people, there's some more tornado in this current meta so it struggles sometimes but I really like uh, this variation. I've been liking it. It's, a, it's probably the only the deck I've played the least out of these three but it's very solid as well. Alright, so he's playing Spellbait. So this is fine. If he goes Goblin Barrel, I'll just go Goblin Gang. I'll get a lot of value. Alright, so now if I have to, if he goes Goblin Gang, um, if you time the Electro was right, and I think OJ's video was out of, I don't think it's correct anymore, but it's like three tiles before the tower. So if I have to do that, I'll do it. All right, well, I don't don't have to because oh, I'm an idiot. That's a lot of damage. Uh, yeah, I didn't place the electro wiz to where you would hit the princess. Those mis mistakes were made there. All right, so he'll uh he'll play Inferno Tower here. So I'm not going to do anything. It'll be a positive one elixir trade. He doesn't have either of his spell bait cards, so he has to. Or he'll just log it and let the barbs do damage. I'm okay with that too. Or, okay, so he plays. I don't know why he didn't just play Inferno in the first place. Alright, that's poison value. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to Dark Gob. And then we're going to pre-log. All right, good damage. 
I'm gonna have to get the timing right. Got it! And I zapped all the goblins and it allows a lot less damage if you do that. So, now we're gonna go Minor Poison. Oh, he didn't- he played his Goblin Gang, so he doesn't even have anything to go on offense with. Either way, still good chip, so it's fine. Ooh, you're going in. Alright, so we're gonna go offensive here. Pre-log. Good pressure. Poison. if I can get that. Otherwise I'll just rotate to like a spell or a minor. Nope, he lets my Dark God take it. I don't think he's gonna have the elixir to... He's not gonna have the elixir to... Rock it. Got him! To be fair, I mean, so even if he had been able to take my tower there, I would've won. I was up so far in damage, a few minor poisons would've uh, been good. So... Took the win. Had some decent predictions there. I made that one big misplay, but you know, if you play well enough to come back from it. Deserved the win, I suppose. I should have Electra whizzed and then saved my log for offense. Oh well. Nice going comes out late. I'm guessing Skarmy. Yeah. These deck spellbait decks are pretty predictable, so you can do that pretty often. A little bit late again. Alright, so. Dang it, he went Inferno. I was trying to guess like a Skarmy. Alright. Let's not try to predict too much, Colton. Double Elixir, I'll be doing really good. I had to play something, so... He guessed wrong. Cool, give me log value. Throw that miner down while those things are tanking. He thought I was gonna go Goblin Gang. He doesn't have a log up. Poison! Electro Wiz is slowing down that as well. Let's go another Electro Wiz. Uh, I was trying to get the zap, some get some damage from the zap. It is okay. I just need to keep up pressure. And you can't play a hog into a an Electro Wiz, so that's good too. Well, he's gonna try. <laughs> so I just need to save log. I need to save up once I have enough elixir to minor poison. Let's go ahead and switch this up. And then let's go with poison. And that'll be GG. Well played. And he's angry, I guess. That are. That are like, I don't know. Someone just told him a really funny joke. Because he's just, he's just spamming the laugh. I think it's more because he's tilted. <laughs> But, got the two wins with that one, and now what well, we've actually been playing against a bunch, we're going to have to show our opponents how to how to use the Hog Rider spell bait. So, really safe start, let's do Princess at the back. Cool, played minion in, minions into it. Oh, nice, nice, okay, so...
He has Zap, Log, and Electro Wiz. This is gonna be a hard game. <laughs> I, I had Inferno, but I guess I should have played it lower. That could have been worse. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> this is gonna be really hard. <laughs> All right, so let's start Prince at the back. If he logs every time, that's fine. Okay, as long as I don't hog into a peck. <laughs> Honestly, just go hog right here. I have to. I guess I could have logged. Eh, no, I don't feel like a log would have been enough. And it still gets a hit off. That's awesome. Uh, it's okay. I just gotta focus. His log is out of rotation. Yep. Perfect. Good. This guy always does that. Logs the princess. Gosh dang it, Colton. Alright, it's it's okay. I can still defend that side if I have to. Come on. Alright, that's enough, that's enough. Nice, nice. I'm just goblin burying to distract. I have 240, even if I get no damage, I will kill the tower. And I got it. Let's go. The dude had three counters to my deck. And I still won. No, four! Electro Wiz is good against Goblin Barrel too. Look! He had he had he had poison, he had log and he had zap. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Alright, so now hopefully we get an easy match, instead of one where I have to, like, fear for my life. Oh, that was tense, man. Alright, so we're gonna start nine in the back. I love control. It's my favorite arch archetype currently. Is it? Okay, so... He may be playing, like, a really similar deck. Yeah, he's playing a really similar deck. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to hog right in the middle, and then it'll lure him over, and then yeah, he'll jump. I actually didn't need to do it, because I forgot about the princess, but um, I bit it out in Inferno, it's positive one elixir trade, so. Alright, he just logged. Yeah, he'll play something that'll... I was hoping he would play Skarmie, actually, because his princess would have got more value, but still not a bad princess. And I'm back to Log now. I kept up the pressure and didn't allow him to Goblin Barrel. She'll get one hit, but I'll, uh, he'll have to defend this. Cool, I don't even have to defend that. I mean, I'll take a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Yep, he'll go Inferno again. That's another negative one elixir trade. I meant to go opposite line with that. Oh well. I was kind of thinking he may play Princess at Bridge, but either way, it's fine. Kill cool, I beat it out Goblin Gang. I 
I should just inferno but Cool. Not so bad. I should have played that knight earlier. Two princess shots, kind of a big deal. Shouldn't have done that, that was a mistake by me. When as long as I don't have a hand, I should have, uh, I should have repoisoned. Now, see, he decides to go with log this time. I should have played the log, f I mean, the unit further back. Oh well. So it was really far back. Not bad, not bad, not bad, okay. I missed the tower, no. I just need to go for damage at this point. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, this is tough. Oh, I was gonna say he almost overcommitted. Dang it. So close. GG well played. That's a good match to keep in though because he also played Hog Spell Bay and it was a really close match. So you get to see it from both perspectives. Yeah, he had the other version. I honestly should have beat him. Um the the one big misplay I made early on, I needed to be like I needed to just use my inferno tower more. I let him catch me off guard that one time with poison. Most people didn't run don't run rocket, so I was trying to get an elixir advantage, and instead it just put me behind the rest of the game because I uh, wasted a goblin gang and gave him value. Okay, so I need to push opposite lane. Let's see if I can bait log. Okay, or Valkyrie. I'm gonna move it. He, he wasted so much elixir on the other side that he's not gonna be able to lightning or anything. Yeah, so I made him defend so he didn't really do anything. I mean, he did no damage. I did damage, so. I wonder if this will bait him to play something closer. Yeah, it did. Nice. Surround him. That was a terrible surround, actually. I'm awful. No, I'm fine. That was a big misplay, though. I should have went, I guess, Goblin Barrel? My hand was pretty bad. What is this dude's deck, even? Huh. Alright, well, hopefully I'll play Golden again and I can take advantage of it. Valkyrie does kind of hurt me though. Yeah. He ended up arrowing too though. Alright, so he doesn't have his defense in hand. But he does have bowler, so I'm gonna try to bait out bowler on that side, and then okay, well he just golden instead, so that works too. And then I'm gonna hog the right side, obviously. Oh. 
The tower is basically already dead, it doesn't really matter. I just can't get three crown, which I won't. I'm gonna ignore that actually. I just need to go in. Yeah, I baited out the Valkyrie. GG, well played. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's a good one to end it on, boys and girls. Okay, that was that was a good one. <laughs> Alright. Thank you guys for watching. We've got the great audio, the great new overlay, the Dude Lord signing up.